Hi everybody, welcome back. Thank you for joining me again. I just wanted to talk to you very quickly today about a topic that I've learned quite a lot about since undertaking my extension project. And I just thought if anyone else was undertaking any kind of extension work, any kind of kitchen extension, renovation, loft conversion even, this is definitely a topic that you'll be thinking about too. And that's roof lights, um, or actually more to the point, it's uh, how you're gonna bring light into your property. So roof lights aren't the only option. Um, and we've gone for a, a couple of different products, which I'll show you in a minute. But I'm actually bringing you this video from the upstairs for our extension. So this is part of the brand new building. I'm not gonna do a whole tour of the room because we still haven't actually finished this yet. We've still got the wardrobes to put in. So it's not it's not ready to, uh, to show the final product. But I just came in here because I wanted to show you that in actual fact, in this room, we haven't put any lights in the roof whatsoever. So that's the roof in here. We've got the nice um, light that I've shown you before, but we decided not to go for a roof light in here. And I will tell you why in a minute. But first of all, follow me and I'll show you what we have done. Okay, so the bit that I'm standing in now, I have shown you before, but this is the funny little area that we've got in between the bedroom and what's going to be the kind of, you can't really technically call it ensuite, but the little bathroom. And uh, this is actually going to be an airing cupboard, but we've got the manifold for the underfloor heating in here. We've also got this solar water tank. And uh, this space, we weren't allowed to have any windows along this side of the building, but we wanted to be able to bring some natural light into it if we could. Now, we didn't need to necessarily have a window that we could open. So the obvious choice for us was the solar tube, um, which is up here. Now, solar tubes are actually pretty cool. I hadn't seen them, I'd only seen them in magazines before. But it's when we first got this, you find yourself wanting to keep turning it off all the time because the light that it brings in is actually so bright. Obviously, it reflects down that tunnel. And it is perfect for a little space like this where, like I said, if you don't need to open it, it does the job. And you also lose less energy um, than you would through something like a roof window. So that was the perfect choice here. Also added one in the bathroom here as well. Um, this bathroom was a bit of a casualty of the extension in general. So we had to redo it, we've redupped on the ceiling, replastered the ceiling, we need to finish it off. But this bathroom, because if I just show you here, that was basically the window before, but now that's the bedroom behind there. Um, we lost all the natural light into this room. So we've had to add this solar tube to bring back some natural light. Okay, so as you probably guessed, I'm now in the roof. And as I explained before, when we did this project, we decided to redo the whole roof because it needed doing anyway. Then it fitted in better with the new roof on the side extension. And we just thought we might as well do it all at the same time. So we're really lucky now to have this brand new, incredible roof. But we decided that while we were doing it, it was a good idea to fit a roof window. Now, obviously there's a few things to think about when you're choosing a roof window. As this is a bit of a utility roof window, we don't use the loft at the moment, but we may consider doing loft conversion in the future. So it's allowed us to see the space better and assess the space. Um, we didn't have to be too strongly uh, uh, controlled by those decisions, but things that you need to think about include how you're gonna open the window. So some of them open from the center, some of them open from the top. Um, obviously, if your view is a consideration, you may want to open it so it doesn't obstruct your view. If safety is a consideration, you want to look at things like the child's safety. Um, but one of the really key points that I didn't really know about roof windows until we had this one fitted. Now, this is a key light window. A lot of people, Velux is obviously the name that's synonymous with roof windows, and people think that they're the only people that make roof windows. But there are other companies, including Keylight, Fatcro, lots of other names. So do do your research. It may be that you're guided um, by aesthetics, or it may be as in our case, there were two considerations that made, led us to choosing this window. One was that it's really easy to install, so the people who were installing it felt it was the best choice from their point of view. Um, but second, it's got this thermal bridging collar included. You can see it there, the thermal collar included within the design of the window. Now, thermal collars are supplied with most, most windows, but as is more often than not the case in building, they often actually get left out by installers um, when they're being put in, which means that then you can actually lose a lot more heat than you want to and even end up with damp problems as a result of the window. So when people make complaints about roof windows and damp, it's often actually just because they haven't been installed correctly. The design in themselves are fine. So by including it within the design, it means that it can't get left out. So these then tend to mean that there's no gaps. Um, and there's no nasty surprises in the future. 
So that's just a really quick overview into the decisions that we made around roof windows and solar tubes generally uh, to bring some light into our extension. I'm actually in the ensuite, not ensuite, um, bathroom now just to show you that we are actually making some progress with this tiling. We've been plodding away with it. Now this bit behind me is actually the really easy bit, but what we found much more difficult is sorting out all of this around the window, all these little cuts, and that's really um, the challenging thing about tiling in general and it doesn't really matter the size of the space because it's these bits that are really difficult. If you had to let then lay two tiles in between the difficult bits or ten tiles in between the difficult bits it doesn't actually make that much difference. It's all those little nooks and crannies and getting those calculations right that slow the job down. But we are getting there so we're hopefully going to bring you a finished bathroom video very soon. So please do subscribe if you're enjoying the series and you're interested in staying up to date with it. Thanks for watching. That's all for now. Bye bye. And I almost forgot to say the reason that we didn't go for the roof windows in our bedroom was because of the noise. We were too worried about the rain on the windows keeping us awake at night. Other people have said to us this has been a problem for them. We thought there's not really any going back once they're in there. So we weighed it up. We did think about it for a long time. But in the end, we just decided that we valued our sleep too much after a few years of young children keeping us awake at night. So we decided not to have them in our bedroom, which is a shame in a way. Um, but ultimately, we've got our, uh, our priorities.